Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. Let's discuss another puzzle in Logic Builder for Cat series. This one says, Dora, Louise and Rose played a card game with 35 cards consisting of 17 pairs and one singleton. 17 pairs and one singleton means, let's say if there is a card 1, then there are two such cards. B, B, C, C, D, D. What's the 17th letter? We can say it's a Q, right? So till there are Q and Q. 17 pairs and one card is single. So we can say there is a card named R is single. 17 into 2, 34 plus 1, 35. Now it says Dora dealt one card to Louise, then one card to Rose, and then one card to herself and repeated this order until all the cards were dealt. So we have Dora and then we have Louise and then we have Rose. So can we say when Dora dealt these 35 cards, she is giving one to Louise, one to Rose and then taking one to herself. Then again, one to Louise, one to Rose, then again, one to herself. So if number of cards are multiple of three, then it will be distributed equally. But that is not the case here. The number of cards here is a multiple of 33 plus two. In that case, what will happen? If there were 33 cards, then every one of these will get exactly 11 cards, 11 plus 11 plus 11. But there are 35 cards and Dora is starting from Louise, then Rose, then to herself it will become 12 cards with Louise, 12 cards with Rose and 11 cards with Dora. 12 plus 12, 24 plus 11, 35. After the pairs in each hand were removed, at least one card remained in each hand. At least one card remained in each hand. The number of cards in the three hands totaled 9. So can I say, <clears throat> if there are pairs, then number of pairs uh, with Louis hand must be, uh, we can say multiple of two, right? And if you remove this, the number that will be left will be a multiple of two as well. It could have been one pair out of these or two pair or three pair or four pair. So the remaining value will also be given. So if this is two X, this will be two Y cards left, which are singleton in case of Louis, in case of Rose and number of cards left with Dora will be Z, right? And the total is 9. Z plus 2x plus 2y is equal to 9. Then it says, of the remaining cards, Louise and Dora hands together form the most pairs and Rose's hand, Rose's and Dora's hand together form the least pairs. So, it says, <coughs> Louise and Dora, these two together, formed maximum number of pairs and uh, Rosa and Dora, these two minimum number of pairs. So what's the possibility? Now can we say in case, in case of uh, this second statement, it's given that at least one card is left with everyone. So what could be the case? That Dora can have one card or three cards or five cards or seven cards, right? And in that case, we need to figure out that uh, what is the case possible where Dora and Louise have maximum number of pair when they are taking these cards and these cards, they are making a pair. It's possible that <coughs> out of all the Z cards, Dora has A, B and C and Louise has also A, B and C and some more card like D, E, F, something like that. And uh, uh, Rose has some cards like uh, that is common to this, like A, B, C. Let's say this is D, E, F and uh, this has D, E, F. What will happen in that case? Dora and Louise will have three pairs in common. Louise and Rose will have three pairs in common. <coughs> they will make three pairs. Dora and Louise will have zero pairs, right? So in these uh, situations, we can understand what is happening here. That uh, now how we how we distribute. Now in case of Rose, it must be it must be even number of cards. I took three but it must be even number of cards. 
So if I am taking Dora and Rose have minimum pair in common, can I say that I can take this as zero, right? The cards that Dora has, the cards that Rose has are completely different, right? That's why there is zero pair in common. But in case of Dora and Luis, there will be maximum. So how can we distribute this? So whatever cards Dora has, Whatever cards Luis has, whatever cards Rose has, total should be added up to 9, right? Now, if we want to maximize this, if we want to maximize this, <coughs> there are 9 cards. So, we must distribute at least 1 to each of them. Out of 9 cards, there can be 4 pairs and 1 single turn, right? Because we have removed all the pairs. So, what should we do here, if I want to maximize, there could be four pairs in common at max Dora and Luis, but then Dora cannot have even number of cards, right? So, more than four, if I take, if I am taking this five, taking this four, taking this zero, then in that case, I can see that Luis and Dora, Dora will make four pairs, Dora and Rose will make zero pairs, but in that, there is a violation of condition that is every single of them have at least one card. So, instead of five, we should try three cards with Dora. If Dora has three cards, then Louise must have at least three cards so that all these three cards can be paired up. Then Louise can have four cards. It must be multiple of four and Rose will have two cards. Then you can see three plus four plus two is equal to nine. Now, what could happen here? that Louise and Dora will make three pairs, right? And one card is left with Louise and that can make pair with Rose. And uh, then Dora and Rose will have z will make zero pair because this one card left with Rose will be the singleton, right? So maximum number of pairs that uh, Dora and Louise can have is three. So we don't need to check further cases because either it could be five cards with Dora or uh, three cards with Dora or one cards, right? And uh, we have already considered five. That is not possible, right? Because if this is five, we can take this maximum four or uh, in that case, Rose will not have any pair. If I am taking this five then uh, and taking this less than four, then this will be two. This will also be two. In that case, what will happen? Maximum number of pair Lo, uh, Dora and Luis will make will be two, right? And then uh, pair will have to make Dora and Rose. That won't be minimum. So our answer is the singleton must be with Rose. So answer. Rose. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you.